Hey guys, it's Carrie Karen, and today I'm going over the back end of a website I'm working on with a coworker, Ruana Waldron. Hi, Ruana, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Very good. Hi. All right, so I'm in the back end of the website that you originally saw on the screen, only I need to share my screen with Ruana so she can see it. <laughs> Let's try that first. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> All right, start. Okay, let me know, Ruana, when you can see the screen. I can see it. Looks good. Great. Okay. So this is the site we're working on, and we're talking about this events area, which when it's filled out, will show all of the different events that um, they, they want to have in there. One of the things that I did notice when I was going through the back end is that in this events plugin, um, it needs we need to add each and every event event individually. Now, as we go on and get more and more things entered into it, more and more will be available for the user to be able to select those places um, in order to have them show. So th this is where the events is in the back end. And if we look down here, we see locations. Locations is like a custom post type within the custom post type. And you can see I started adding some of them. Mm -hmm. um, and in, I think the best way to have them do this is to uh, get a list of all of the locations that they're potentially going to have events at and enter this information first. Mm -hmm. And um, so if we go inside and we look at, let's look at, let's just open up Sophia's Kitchen. And, and the reason you see one as a draft and one um, that's already in is because as I was going through this, I learned the same thing. It was easier to come and add the location first and then have it available f to choose from when mm -hmm. you're adding the actual event. <clears throat> and what's really nice about this is when you do add it ahead of time, you get the actual address so that somebody who may not know where it is can actually find and get an actual map to that location should they need it. So cool. basically the only information that's required is your address and your town. So you, you put it in just like you would do a regular, any other kind of post, you know, you add the title and then down here you could add the where. Now this description area is not going to be for the event, but about the location. So like if you had maybe some weird kind of information of where it's located like uh, when I give my directions to to where I live for the delivery people I always tell them it's across from Heights Elementary School because they know where that is but they never know where I live so if right. I have you know specific information about directions that might be where you could add that okay so now after you and then of course you would update it and it would create um, the, in that list of the locations, another another location. Okay. Then when you get to the event, all right, so we go to the event, um, and, and this is the one that's on there right now, so I'm just going to mm -hmm. use this as an example. When you go into here, you would enter the name of the event, and if you had any information about the event, you could add it in the description area. In this case, um, the only extra information that I really needed to add was their website. And then you can see there are meta boxes in the right hand column to put the dates and the times. Mm -hmm. So you have the name and you add, then you add the dates and the times and you can do all that right there. And here is where the other part would show up. If you, you can, you know, you type, you start typing and if it recognizes the name of the location, it'll auto populate for you. Mm -hmm. And then it's in there for this particular event. Now, if it doesn't have a location, you you know click the that area there, and and then you update it, and it goes into there. So here's an idea of what it looks like. When you click on the event, uh, what displays here is the title of the event, not necessarily the location. But when you click on it, it'll take you to the page that you created. So Everything that you enter here is the same as you entered on this event page. Mm -hmm. And then what's really nice is when you have the location already entered, you can also click on the location, which will take you to then the location page 
that has the specific address and all mm-hmm. of all that stuff. So it's really cool the way it works together. Um, if by chance you don't have a location pre-entered, you can fill it out here and it will add it to the list of locations so that in the future, when you go to click it again, it it is available. Mm-hmm. But like I said, I found it easier to go ahead and add the locations ahead of time because if I'm doing it with the event, then I have to look up the address. And it's easier for me to just, if I'm adding addresses of locations, to do it in the locations area, not via the event. But either way is possible. Great. And if you put um, additional information in the location um, content box, well, I saw where it showed up when you looked at the event. Uh, or rather, the the URL socoromusic.com shows up on the event. What about the extra information on the location in that content box? Does that show up? Oh, if you click on Old Town Bistro here, it'll show any extra Correct. across from... Right. So yeah. let's open that up in another another tab and we can see. Right. So any information that you would have added in the Old Town Bistro area, it would it would uh, show up there. Let's do that and just verify that. So I'm going to open up a new box. And, and we should probably get some categories going, it looks like, too. Um, yes, you yeah, you could easily do that. And those just work like the regular categories of, of um, WordPress. Yep. Same kind of concept. So tell me something about Old Town Bistro that you might know that you would want to add about it. Um, it's old. <laughs> historical location yeah there you go <laughs> i actually know nothing about it so well it sounds old so we'll <laughs> pretend it is for okay. now that's what we'll say so now that is saved on that other page this is the event page so if i refresh it does not show up on the actual hmm. event page however yeah. i'm assuming it's going to pop up here and did that refresh I don't think it did. Here we go. And historical location. There it is. Sure enough. Okay, great. Perfect. So, yeah, and you can use this video to help them. um, And if you have any other questions or, you know, even if you make your own video, whatever you need to do to help your client find what it is that, you know, whatever's going to make it easier for them and for you. Yep. Sounds great. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I can't think of any other questions or uh, let's, let's go look at that. Event. Oh yeah. Recurring events will probably be used and I'm assuming that'll be kind of self-explanatory. Yep. The event All... categories, like we thought is just like the other ones, recurring events. Now I do have some experience with this. Um, when you do a recurring event, it will schedule it out ahead of time for you too. Mm-hmm. And then, um, in the settings of the, uh, when you go to your appearance widgets, open that one in another new link, and we go to left side content left, inside your events widget, mm-hmm. you can tell how many events to show, and I think someplace in there there is also how you know how far out to go. Okay. I, I believe there's a setting in there that you can set for the date. It might be another plugin I'm thinking about when I say that, so I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Um, but at a minimum, you know, you can put, you know, the most, the number of events. Gotcha. So, wait, just go. Great. Your events. Oh, yes, right here. Events within however many months. That's right. where it is. Oh, good. Okay. So. Perfect. Yeah, some kind of neat features to that and, um, once we get some more in there or, you know, if we want to put some in or have them put it into practice, then we can go in and actually do the, the style for it as well. I'm going to stop this recording because it's kind of irrelevant. Um, Super. I'm going to keep it on track and um, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> 